Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to the first episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. If you guys are excited to see this video, please do show some love to that like button down below. Really does help out the video, the channel, all that good stuff. We could hit 300 likes on the first part. I would be extremely grateful. I am also wearing my Hawaiian shirt to rock the occasion. I was like, hey, it's Ultra Sun and Moon release day. Why not go all out and wear this horrible looking shirt? There is a reason I've only ever worn this once in my whole life, and it's because of the colorings. But hey, it's got flowers on it. We're going to the Alola region. Why not? But guys, question of the day. Who did you pick for your start if you did pick up the games today? And if you didn't, and you, I understand you may, some of you may be getting it for Christmas, that's completely cool. I won't be putting any spoilers in the thumbnails or the titles for this series at all. So rest assured, guys, it'll be okay when it shows up in your sub box. But without further ado, though, guys, oh! Let's get into this. I'm, of course, playing in English. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm super, super excited to play this game. This has been a long time in the making. All the trailers have led up to this point. I cannot believe that I've got this game right now, and we are playing it. But anyway, your settings have been saved. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that, Nintendo 3DS. But I do have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukui, which, you know, I'm going to read right now. Show up on Skype. Let's go. Oh, that intro. Loving it. Yep, shake the camera. Hang on now. Give me a sec. I'll get you a sec, Kukli. Let me know what's going on. Give me my Pokemon. Hey there, good afternoon. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. You, you, you're sure right I am. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason this region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah, there's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Show me that rock for Kukui. Such mysterious creatures. Here we go. Here he is, my boy Rockruff. Oh, we can do that mystery gift event as well to get that dusk like rock. Only just remember that. Oh, it's going to be a good playthrough, guys. You find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky and sea. Depend on them. Uh, how, here at Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, cutie fly, I'll play, you, play with you later. So cool your jets. We actually have a cutie fly in this as well. So that's the first difference we do have of Ultra Sun and Moon to Sun and Moon. All right, I get to ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. And which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Okay, give me that selection, pal. What are we going to go for? What are we going to go for? Um, I guess this one looks most like me, even though I don't have dark hair, but I'm not really blonde anyway. Yeah, we'll go for this one. Oh, yeah, that is me. That is me, sir. It's a beautiful screenshot. All right, then I'll let you spell out your name for me. It is, of course. Give me that H. Give me the give me the shift. Put that D, V, E. You already know it. H, D, V. Oh, oh, I just cannot wait to get my start of Pokemon. Oh, I am picking Rowlet, by the way, guys, if you aren't aware. I did pick Litten in Pokemon Sun. I really wanted Rowlet, though. Rowlet is just the cutest dude ever. So it is HDV, of course it is, my friend. You know it. Here we go. Down to four. Good buddy, I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way. HDV. Oh, Picky Peck's appearing now. And the cutie fire. Oh, God, squad's appeared. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a trap kick to right to the head. Well, can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. I can't either, pal. I just want my start Pokemon. I want to get out on my adventure. I'm 11 years old today. Let me go on my island challenge. HDV, come help me with these boxes. All right, mum. There's my McDonald's cup, my lemonade. Here we go. Got those bookmarks, because you know I've been doing that schoolwork. It was color-coded. Oh, here we go. The cutscene, though. I wonder how many cutscenes are in this game. I bet there's a load. But I'm okay, because I'm too excited to play these games right now. We've got Lily here with a Cosmog. She knows what's up. She's got those Eighth of Paradise goons running after her. Like, nah, get away from me. You ain't getting Nebby at me back. She's on. She's running that 100 meters. She's off. But here we have the Ultra Recon Squad, which you did see in the trailers, which is really, really cool. I wonder what they're doing here. Squad's formed an alliance, it looks like. They're moving up to him. Nebby, I'm going to need you to do a big favor here and teleport me to somewhere else. Here we go to Narnia. And boom, just like that. Cosmog using teleport. And then boom. Oh, look at that title screen. Oh, just, oh it's just so good. Oh, loving those colors. That is a title screen worthy of the name. Title screen. Here we go, though. Oh, that was a nice little intro, though. I enjoyed myself. Three months later. Three. Not one. Not two, people. But a whole three. 90 days. Or 92, give or take. Unless you're in February. Then it doesn't really matter. But that's not even important. We're going into the Alola region. Oh, I'm, I'm this close. I can From moving my character. From getting out of bed. I'm this close. I'm feeling it. It's a Hawaiian shirt. Probably won't be an episode two, by the way, because I already don't like it. <laughs> I probably should just sell it or get rid of it or something. That is an Alolan Meowth, though, instead of a Rockruff. There's a Wingull. Oh, 
Love in the house. Oh, I cannot wait. This is going to be so hyped. Yep. Yeah. Love it. Ah, can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under Alola's sun. It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Mia, go get HTV for me, would you? Yeah, I mean, I'm snoozing. It's daylight, though, because I'm playing that Ultra Sun. It's daylight, guys. Oh, this. Oh, beat music. Because I snore like plush. There's the Nintendo Switch. Oh, that product placement. Here we go. Here I am. The man, the myth, the legend. Asleep. That Poliwhirl. Matt, I swear that wasn't in the Super Pokemon Sun. I know there's loads of differences in your room about Pokemon Sun and Ultra Sun, but I don't really remember them off the top of my head. The main thing is, though, guys, here we go. I'm done. Here we go. Oh, I'm moving around. It's good stuff. Oh, oh. Right, let's go downstairs. I take we have to go downstairs, just like the last games. Oh, I'm so excited to play these games, man. It's been so long waiting for these games. Hi, Mum. How are you doing? You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already daytime here. And it's completely the opposite of Kanto. But then we are so far away here in Alola. So, HV, are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? <laughs> of course, silly question. Oh, that's right. I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? It might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself how, just how friendly Pokemon here are. Right, HV, go and get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat and things should be hanging on your coat stand in your room. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk too? Am I done? I don't know. Let's go put on my clothes though. Get my backpack. Um, here they are. Oh, not in the box. They're just hanging up this time. You check your coat rack. You grab your bag and hat. Here we go. The grand veiling of me. Yes. I gotta say, I do prefer the outfits in Pokemon Sun Moon, but hey, it's just a small little thing. I just don't like the hat. I just think the hat ruins the outfit. But I don't. I, I just, it's just it's a small. It's just a minor thing. Let's not get bothered about that. The main thing is, oh, we're playing Ultra Sun. We're about to get a star Pokemon. Now you look ready for anything. Yeah, I'm ready for anything. Oh, but even so, HP, try to be careful with walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit that I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up to Eegee Town and see what you discover in Alola? All right. Let's discover them then. Let's go, Eeky Town. <laughs> That's on my to-do list. But um, oh, this is looking kind of sharp. Already, this pathway. Oh, it's just looking so beautiful. There isn't? No, I can't get up there yet. Route one. Here we go. Nuzlocke challenge begins now. It's just normal. Let's play. What do you got to say? The power of science is amazing. We got the science guys. We got the science duties in every single Pokemon game ever, I do believe. But let's go. Wait, I don't have a Pokemon yet. I guess this is the cutscene. That's a cool throwback. That is a throwback all the way from to Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Something is coming to you from the tall grass. Uh-oh. Is this the Young Goose? I'm pretty sure this is the Young Goose. That's the Young Goose. I did call this. And then the star Pokemon come and help. Pretty sure. Something like that. That Young Goose is attacking me. It's like it's like this big, but you know. Got the squad up here in though. Yes, Rowlet. Litten, here we go. And then Poplio, the squad. Oh. They're all so good. Young Goose too in his head. He's like, I ain't getting involved with you guys. See you later, pal. Only wanted some free cookies. Squad, they're really happy with themselves. Do I get one now then? Look at Rowlet, he's just the cutest thing ever. Like, I love Rowlet anyway, but since watching him in the anime as well, he's just, oh, he's just perfect. Hey there, cousin. Help Kukui, how you doing, pal? I swear the character's taller in this game. He's nearly as tall as Kukui. Hang on, I know you. You're HDD, right? You okay? I saw you get attacked like that. Yeah, I got a bit of help. Got a bit of help from the, the Alola squad. Looks like you did, though I didn't expect that, yeah? I didn't think that these little fellows would dash out on their own to help save a stranger, but I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kukui. Yeah, the Pokemon professor. People and Pokemon live and work together here in Alola too. Don't you ever forget. You can go anywhere. Yeah, so as long as you got your Pokemon in your corner, wild Pokemon can be lurking in the tall grass. Yeah, just waiting to leap out and bite you. But you'll be fine if you got a partner of your own. Hey there. Here, let me introduce the Pokemon that helped you just now. I, I'm picking one already. Sweet. 
This is a grouse type Pokemon, Rowlet. You're coming with me, baby owl. And the fire type Pokemon, Litten. And the water type Pokemon, Poplio. Good selections. I'm gonna have to go with him though. You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Ooh. That shocked expression. Not not great. Not filling me with confidence. Hey, maybe that's why he wanted to save you. Go on and choose the one you like to keep as your partner cousin. I'm already saying it's going to be shiny, guys. Full odds. Here we go. Shiny Rowlet coming at you. Why don't you go ahead and choose the one you like to keep as your partner cousin? God, it's going to be Rowlet. Yes, Rowlet. You're coming with me. Rowlet can fly up on the enemies real quiet like. Yeah, and catch them by surprise. So you want to go with the grass type Pokemon Rowlet? You know it, Kukui. You know it. It's shiny as well. Just saying gonna be shiny calling it now now give me that give me that adamant shiny rowlet real quick just as a just as a welcome gift to the alola region give me that adamant shiny rowlet i'd love it that'd be ridiculous me and rowlet looking nice and peaceful look he's enjoying he's enjoying himself you chose rowlet you're sure i did i'm sure of it oh i cannot wait to start using things in battle so it's it's uh it's not shiny but hey you know some things just don't happen so we're gonna call you I'm gonna call you Robin. Just seems to be what I always call. I mean, you can like call it Robin Who, stuff like that. But we're just gonna call him Robert. Robin, you know? Why not? Robin the Rowlet, coming at you. He's still gonna be adamant though. I'm telling you now. Is adamant even a good nature? I'm not. I'm pretty sure he is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure adamant's good. So you went with Rowlet. Ooh, what a fine-looking team you two are. Now that you can have the Pokemon battles, you're what we call a Pokemon trainer. Here's a Pokeball for Rowlet too. It should feel nice and cozy in there. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. All right, then. Let's get going to up to Iki Town, HDV. Woo! Time to meet the Island Kahuna. Island Kahuna? Truth is that part of Rowlet of yours is not a gift from the Kahuna, not me. Oh, from the from the Kahuna, not me. So let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, because it may not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. By ca be careful not g about getting into a battle with one. I'm gonna be careful. Don't worry, pal. Me and Rowlet are gonna take over the world. Look at him flying behind me like a little cube bomb. Iki Town is right up here. Yeah, me and Rowlet have already saw we're already there, pal. Already there. Da -dum. Go Rowlet there in that Pokeball I gave you. Alright, right, get inside, pal. There's no cutscene, just a sound effect. You know, it's fine. Here we go. Let's check Rowlet out though. What is his nature? Summary. Please be decent. Okay, it's naughty, which is attack up special defense down, it's not awful. I'll take that. I will take that. Add, it, you know, attack is up. Attack is up. That's okay. That's not bad. Robin's doing all right. He's doing all right. That's not bad nature. It's not awful. You know, we just we just be careful on the special side of things. But let's go. First Pokemon battle. Here we go. Oh. Watched. Oh, that battle is insanely good. That is incredibly good. Right, let's check out the battle features and everything. This game looks insane. These battle, oh the HP bots, oh everything is just going. Oh, it's just, I just, it's just too much to handle. Hit him up with that leafage, Rowlet. Bang. That's a chunk. Oh, that's a, str that's a strong six percent. Oh yeah, we take that physical. We take that physical damage. Catch this, catch this leafage real quick. Hachika. That is one dead young goose. So the battle scenes are looking nice and clean in this game. Getting that twenty-three experience points. Even the XP bar is looking good. Oh. Feeling it, feeling it. That was just the first battle. That was just the first battle, guys. Are there trainers here? There's a, there's a squad. Okay, don't want to talk to that kid. Oh, there's tourist stuff there. There is an item over here. Let me grab that real quick. Give me that. Oh, got that potion. I think there's another item on the left as well. Do I have Pokeballs yet? I don't even know. Uh oh, how's coming up? First introduction. Does he still choose the weak? I think he still chooses the weaker Pokemon in this game. Hey, hey, which Pokemon are you going to choose as your partner? Have you decided? Try, try here, pal. It's bottom right. Oh, yeah, I'm Hal. I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. I've already got... Oh, sorry, pal. I've already got me Rowlet. be a bit awkward if it's like, oh, the, I was, I was going to choose that one. But like, well, tough look, pal. Wow, your Rowlet is so cool. Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Sorry about that, Hal. We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting HDV choose his partner first without you. Eh, fair enough. I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you can choose one of these two, Hal. Pick the Poplio. Make my life complete. I'm pretty sure he does. Then my partner will be Poplio. I choose you. 
Oh, Lytton's been seshed away. Alola, friend. I decided ages ago that you were the one I wanted to have an adventure with. That's a lie. You definitely wanted Rowlet How. Don't be silly. We're going to do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. Okay. Dun -dun. Oh, this is it now. Professor, you'll take good care of Lytton, right? You better believe it, I will, Hal. You better do. Or you could just give it me. All right, then. Lytton, everybody. Time to get back in your balls for now. Wait up, me and Poplio have a favor to ask. Be our opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, before you two step into a ring, let's make sure little Rattler is up to fit. Thanks, Mel. Cheers for that. Cheers for that 4 HP. Catch this leafage, though, pal. It's super effective on your Poplio. Oh, right, I'm seriously going to enjoy this. Me too. Give me that level 6, pal. Give me that level 6. I'm all about those levels. Here we go, first trainer battle. How? How am I going to win this? Ha <laughs> Pun. Go, Poplio. Bork, bork. Right, come on, Rowlet. Come on, Robin. Let's win this. Right, hit him with that powerful leaf fish. The battle is... Just everything about the battles looks so good, man. I love the little... He's faster than me. Catch that water gun. Oh. That's the negative special defense nature coming through there. That was a strong 4 HP, but catch this leaf fish. That is a... Ooh. That, uh, that is a nice boosted leaf fish from that good old positive attack nature. Catch another water gun. It's fine. We eat those for days. You know, Rowlet was like, hey, I'm looking a little bit thirsty over here. Give me that water gun to drink. And now he's all hydrated. Catch this leaf. It's bang. Destroyed the pop, yo. Ooh, we'll see what the level look looks like. Okay, the same, but hey, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12, 24. Not bad, Rowlet. Rowlet's trying to grow two levels out here. Not close to level seven already. Not even bad. Not even bad. So I wonder if we can catch anything different on Route 1. I wonder. Whoa, that was awesome, HB. You and Rowlet are both so cool. Yeah, ha, <laughs> I know. You gotta have the kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too, you know. Right on, HB. You and Hal both brought out the best in your partners and pulled off some spectacular moves. Yeah, Inky Town is right up those stairs. Come on, HDV. You should totally check out Inky Town. I wanna get that item first over here, pal. Let me grab this real quick. I'm all about collecting items. What are we finding this time? Anything new? Anything new on Route 1? Caterpie. 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 Yeah. Right, come on. We don't need to take this on. Rowlet's just like, give me more. Give me more. I want those levels. God, I love the little... No, oh, the battle scene's so good, man. Right, let me pick this up. I think it might just be a Pokeball or something. I don't know if I have Pokeballs yet, actually. Let me pick this up. Paralyze of the heel variety. That's fine with me. Right, we're at Route 1. Let's get to Eeky Town. Meet the Kahuna, meet the squad, meet Lily, maybe, perhaps, I don't know. Don't know how she's going to be included in this game, where we're going to meet her. Here we are, though. Icky Town, how you doing? I'm here. And we're here. This right here is Icky Town. Okay. Looking nice. That's where we picked our stars before. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy. See, I'm sure he does. Sure he does. Looks like the Kahuna is nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that he's fixing. Yeah, yeah. The Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. I'm gonna go stop by home for a sec. I gotta show my mom Poplio. All right, see you, how. I think my character's already thinking in his head like that guy's gonna get annoying. Hey, I've got an idea for you, HB. If you heard enough, if you head through the village and took to the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. That's our island's guardian deity. Yeah. Why don't you go introduce yourself? If you're real lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the Kahuna comes back. I guess we meet Lily here then. That would make a lot of sense. But we actually have our star Pokemon this time. We're gonna go meet Lily. That's pretty cool. I'm all about that. So I don't think we did last time. Ooh, Lonely Meow seems to be the, the Pokemon everybody has in this place. Look at this scenery, though. This scenery is exquisite. Look at these little, beautiful little plants growing everywhere. Here we go. Let's keep going. There's the question mark. It is, Lily. We're meeting her in the flesh. I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins. So please stay in the bag. We could get in trouble if anyone sees you. Lily impression, 10 out of 10. Nah, I'd give it a strong four. Lily, wait up. Come back. Oh, 
Wow, that bag. <laughs> Nibby's like, let me out. Yeah, sunlight. Cosmo looking nice and powerful in this game. He's enjoying himself out here. Oh no, the Sparrows. The Sparrows are here. Oh no, Cosmog. So I'm here with me, Raul. Maybe you save him with Raul at this time then. You'll start a Pokemon. That'd be crazy if you battle the Sparrows. That'd be kind of cool though. Don't worry, Lily. I'm here. Don't worry. Hey. I'm happy. Ah. What's wrong? What's, what's, what's the matter? Help. Save Nebby. I'll save him. I've got Rowlet now. Pew. Coming to get you, Nebby. Don't worry. Those Sparrow are attacking it, but I'm not a trainer. I can't. Okay. You're only holding a legendary Pokemon. It's fine. Please, please save Nebby. I'll heal your Pokemon for you, so... Oh, I guess we do battle the Sparrow, though. If she's healed our Pokemon. That's kind of cool. Oh, but I've got that weakness, though. I'm a grass-type Pokemon. Already difficult, guys. Already difficult. Well, it's Sparrow appeared. This is so much... Oh, this is so cool. I wonder how we meet Tapu Koko, then. Maybe the battle light explodes the bridge or something. That's a level four. How am I going to beat that? Tackle. Hopefully, this thing doesn't have peck. Hit him up, Rowlet. Okay, that's some nice damage. That's a Leer. Let's, let's not get involved with those Leers. Rowlet, you're doing a good job, pal. You don't hit him again. Cool, cool. That's my Rowlet impression. That's a... S oh, Pursue. Wow. Spirit gets Pursuit this early. Oh, that's... Okay, that's, you know, respectable damage, but we ate it up. Pursuit is our favorite kind of snack. Catch another tackle. Oh, that Spiro dropped. See you, Spiro. That's a good 32 XP. Oh, good stuff. Level 7. Yes, look at that HP go up. Bum, bum, bum. Do we have to fight all three or just one? You managed to chase off one of the Sparrow, but oh, there are still more. Please, please help Nebby if you can, but be careful. It looks like the tag may have damaged the plank bridge too. I can definitely see, I can definitely see the bridge blowing up. If we do the Sparrows. Wait, do I only have to fight one of them? Wait, there's still three. She just said I scared one of them off, but there's still three. Lily, can you count? I don't think Lily can count. There's clearly... Oh, wow. Everything's happening. Cosmog, help me. Or just blow up the bridge. It's fine. Could have just picked Cosmog up and ran away. They're literally the littlest bird Pokemon. Here's Tapu Koko then. See, so just wax his spear as well. Like, get out of here, Spearow. Nobody wants you here. Cheers, Tapu Koko. Appreciate it, pal. Ooh, Cosmog. Can't believe what's just happened. See ya. Cheers, mate. Bye. Thanks for that. Saving my life and stuff, you know. Appreciate it. Pew! Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby, you know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. Pew, pew. Oh, dear, Cosmog. What you like, pal? Get in the bag. What? What is that? Ooh. I'll tell you that. Pew, pew. A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Please, forgive me. I'm so grateful for you helping us out. That dangerous... At that dangerous spot. Who, who are you, Lily? Who, who are you, may I ask? I'm, I'm Lily, and I suppose this stone must belong to you. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. That black Z crystal stone thingy. Please, don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It, it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Pew! I wish Cosmog sounded like the way he does in the anime in the games, because he sounds so good in the anime. It's just the best. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? I, okay. Those three footsteps before the second cutscene. You know, we can get used to that in these games. Bye, Lily. Thank you for walking at, you know, one miles per hour. I really do appreciate it. It's not like I've got, I've got an adventure, an island challenge to go on or anything like that. So, yeah, you take your time. Here we go. Kukui, how you doing, pal? Oh, HV, you already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah. 
Where's Where's Hala though? That's That's the question, Kukui. Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said that he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just um taking a little stroll up my hollow trail when I waited for him to return. And that's how you met our new neighbor HDV, huh? He just got to a lowly yesterday. Help him find his way around, yeah? So you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah I mean, likewise. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all Alola, yeah. Here he is. The man. The myth. The legend. Kahuna Hala. I wonder how this cutscene goes, though, because he doesn't give us a star Pokemon. Have I missed something? There you are, Kahuna Hala. Was there some kind of trouble? Ah, just some caught up in the middle of some browsing, brawling Rockruff, that's all. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Maybe you got attacked by some sparrow on the plank bridge, and HDV here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine, and that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Ooh, that's something you don't hear every day. Ooh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature, yet our guardian has moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. We sure do. Glad someone noticed. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui here told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Pew pew! Getting out of the bag again. Oh, when did you get out again? I know the Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from my, any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. Uh, I've read that Pokemon like it when you pet them or take care of them, you know. Okay. All right, here's a lovely gift for me to help make spe today special, HDV. Bum, 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 bum. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool. Yeah, it can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Rowlet, is already registered. Oh, yeah, so check it out. Nice. Train a passport. Nice. Oh, what well, I've always wanted. That was on my Christmas list. That was number one on my Christmas list, Kukui. How did you know? Well, you got to meet our new Kahuna at least. Ready to head home now, HDV? Yeah, I sure am. Oh, yeah, HDV. Hold up a sec. Are you ready to head home now? Yeah, wait up a sec. Okay. What is it? How? Did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's one here who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll in the sink without a word, huh? Ooh, Sparkle. Hmm, HDV. Would you be so kind to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Here you go, pal. It's, it's jet. Don't, don't break it, pal. Please. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge, isn't that what I heard, HDV? Yeah, they rescued me just another day at the office, pal. So it even denied to... De even dined? I don't know. Give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, HV, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fear not, fret not. I'll return to you tomorrow evening. Cheers, pal. You have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see the light from within you, too. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. I'll do that. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today, though, HTV. Lady, you two should come with us, too. Yeah, wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You are that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on... You know, Pew Pew is a good dude. Oh, you, would you not try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? Everybody's just chuckling, because they all understand. It's just a joke, apparently. Here we are, back at the home, though. Back at the HQ. Welcome back, HDV. So what did you think of the Kahuna Hala? Oh, and look at you, who you've got with you. Cool. I came running out to help you. What a sweet little feeling. Right there, right there on Route 1. And it saved you. That's amazing. Must have been fate that you met. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Brr. Cool. Now you're getting along. Good stuff. It's what we like. It's what we like. Bones and dunes. The next day. Bam, bam. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today's the day that I finally unpack. Doorbell. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, HDV. I mean, it clearly was the doorbell. Unless, like, you don't know what a doorbell sounds like. Oh, definitely a doorbell. Oh, Kukui breaking into our house again. Nice. Just, just lets himself in. 
Hey there, HDV, it's about time we set out for the festival, yeah. But first, I've got something to teach you. Yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer. It's the most basic of all the basics. Come on to Route 1. Oh, you're gonna team me to catch Pokemon. I don't really want to. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon, pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Me. Alright, see ya. See ya, Mom. Bum -tum. Bum -tum -t -t -tum. HDV, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. I don't know that move. I'm only a level 6. I guess we battle trainers now as well. Once he shows how to catch Pokemon. But then, um, yeah, over here. You gotta teach me how to catch Pokemon, aren't you? So, you know that well Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in tall grass, yeah? Now that you've got Rowlet there, you can only fight wild Pokemon, yeah. You can also try to catch a boo. I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize. I mean, you can give it me afterwards as well to make me feel a little bit better. Bum, bum, bum. That is a Grubbin. Oh, a wild Grubbin appeared. Go Rockruff. Dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Level 7. Okay, you do what you have to do, Kukui. I right, some good H2O, keeping myself hydrated. Bum, bum. Imagine if he killed it. That was close to killing it, to be fair. Probably programmed in that you can't kill it, though, to be fair, because that would be a little bit awkward. I think you can actually kill the Zigzagoon in Pokemon Emerald, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, though. 50 Pokeballs. I mean, gives 48 of them. That was a strong hurl, then. Literally launched that Pokeball at that Grubbin. Probably knocked it. That knocked it out. Bang. So the catch system's the same. Cool, 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 cool. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -dum, bum, bum. All right, got myself a grubbin. Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be great help to you, yeah. And if your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit, yeah. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Cheers, pal. Ten, oh, better than five. And Vipakukui, you're spoiling me, pal. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Iki Town, yeah. Take good care of HDV, Rowlet. But I think that is where we're going to end the first episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do um, remember to hit that like button down below. I'll be uploading this at least once a day. So expect it in that sub box every single day. And like I said, there will be no spoilers or in the titles or thumbnails, anything like that. But I really do hope you did enjoy it, guys. Remember, I do also have a second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, Discord, Patreon. All of that is in the description down below if you do want to check me out on anything else. That is everything from me, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have an incredible rest of your day. And until next time, guys. Peace.